Hello friends and welcome to My Bolt EUV once again. I'm Jim and we're going from point A to point B. Climb in, let's go. Today's episode, the battery electric vehicle versus the internal combustion engine. We're going to be tackling the biggest myths perpetuated by EV detractors. Here we go. Today, we're going to talk about the top three myths that keep rearing their heads here in the comments section and in the automotive community in general. These myths deal with car fires, the electrical grid expansion requirements, and the lifetime energy consumption of a battery electric vehicle when compared to an ICE vehicle. Let's take a look at car fires, shall we? In 2021, there were 16,051 hybrid cars that caught fire. That same year, there were 199,533 gas cars that caught fire, and only 52 electric car fires. So let's summarize these numbers. Of the hybrid cars, there out of 100,000 sold, that means there were 3,474 car fires, hybrid car fires, per 100,000 vehicles sold. For gasoline cars, that number was 1,529 fires for every 100,000 vehicles sold. But for the electric vehicle, there were only 25.1 car fires per every 100,000 sold. So let's summarize this in something we can all understand. Based on the numbers, a hybrid car is 139 times more likely to catch fire than an electric car. And a gas car is 61 times more likely to catch fire than an electric car. Kind of tells you what the media has been telling you is a bunch of hooey. Let's take another look at some numbers related to fires. There were over 1 million gasoline cars recalled and only 152,000 electric cars recalled for fires in 2021. However, the number in 2019 electric fire, car fire recalls were zero. In 2020 and 2021 and 2022, Hyundai and GM recall the Kona and the Bolt to fix a potential wide-scale problem. There were only 47 actual fires out of the 152,000 Konas and Bolts that were recalled. But the media sensationalized that number. I like looking at the bottom line numbers. For the Bolt and Kona recalls, out of the 152,000 cars that were recalled, that meant there was a 0.031% chance of your car catching fire. That meant that your car was 99.969% chance that it would never catch fire. So far in the year 2023, the number of recalls for electric cars for fires is zero. Let's continue to destroy the myths. The next one has to do with the electrical grid. In 2022, the USA used 4.05 trillion kilowatt hours of electricity. Just 2.5% of that went into electric vehicles, and most of that during the overnight hours. Demand has gone from 265 billion kilowatt hours in 1950 to what it is today, which is over 4 trillion kilowatt hours. However, over the past decade, the rate of demand has slowed to an average of 50 billion kilowatt hours per year on an increase. And in some years we see big jumps, and other years we actually see decreases. We do know that there's going to be a big increase as the number of electric vehicles increase. But despite this big increase, an increase that is inevitable, this new level of demand is manageable, but it will take planning on the part of utility companies 
to handle that increase. And without proper preparation, a scenario in which our busiest cities could see electrical grids regularly overloaded during peak demand times is not far-fetched. But here's some good news. EV owners can help temper that demand. How? By only charging during off-peak hours. This is not a big ask considering the highest off-peak hours occur between midnight and 6 a.m. when you are sleeping, which is when you want to charge your car anyway. And this is a fact. Everybody has to sleep. And finally, if you live where solar is possible, then look into adding solar to your home. This will also reduce the demand on the grid. And I'm telling you, by 2030, I will live in a house that is fully solar. And the final myth I want to bury is one that I've mentioned in past videos, but the assertion that battery electric vehicles use more energy over their lifetime than ICE vehicles seems to always make it into somebody's talking point. So let's look at the facts. Reuters did a fact box on an article in 2021. They compared the Tesla Model 3 to the Toyota Corolla and the Tesla Model Y to the Honda CRV. For the mix of energy that is most common in the USA, the break even points were 13,500 miles and 14,800 miles, respectively. Even if the USA burned pure coal for 100% of our power, which we don't, the break even point for both would still be under 90,000 miles. And at 90,000 miles, an EV isn't even 20% done with its potential. Unlike an ICE vehicle, the engine does not wear out and need new rings or compression sleeves to keep it running. Keep that in mind. So let's summarize with these three simple facts. Battery electric vehicle fires are 61 times less likely than internal combustion engine vehicle fires. The battery electric vehicle grid on the imp impact on the grid can be managed. And the break-even point on battery electric vehicle models makes them a better overall value when compared to ICE models. These are facts that cannot be disputed by any stretch of the imagination. So in a preview of what's coming up, I'm working on videos for DC fast charging costs compared to home charging. I've already got most of this filmed, and it'll probably take me another three to five days to complete that video. The second one that I'm already starting wor working on is what we can do to salvage battery electric vehicles from the car crushers. Is there a business opportunity here? And if so, who will take advantage of that? And then finally, I'd like to remind you to please send in your requests as soon as possible for any vi video you'd like for me to cover in the future. Again, I'd like to remind everybody to subscribe, share, comment, and like. And if you want to know when I upload something, you ring that notification bell. Also, remember to treat everyone with kindness. Put a smile on your face. Help someone today and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you soon or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Until then, this is Jim signing off.